George Washington and a Kentucky Connection, showing off his surveying skills, just in case this father of our country thing didn't work out. George Washington's plat map, it was created in 1798, and um, it's on um, like parchment type paper, or rag paper, which was a, um, nor normal for the era. And what it is, is it describes his land holdings in great, modern day Grayson County, Kentucky. And the 5,000 acres he was entitled to because of his service in the French and Indian War. More than likely, it was created in Mount Vernon because Washington never actually came to view his land holdings in Kentucky. There was a land rush when, during the first settlement era of Kentucky when all these white settlers are coming in and people were buying up land titles. Some people had duplicate land titles. And more than likely, Washington created his own plat map with his own surveying experience so that he would have clearer boundaries on his property lines. He became a professional surveyor at the age of 17. That was the, his first career choice, and he began training from a very young age. His first official like, practice survey was actually for his grandfather's turnip field. His early 20s, he becomes a professional surveyor. And at this time, he gets called to serve at the, during the French and Indian War. And so that's when he has to abandon his surveying career, which would have been very lucrative for him, and decides to pursue a military career. His library was insane. It had so, so many different archival materials in it, lots of papers from his expansive career, his military career and political career. And he knew he was gonna pass away at some point. And he was very sickly. He was even sickly as a child. And so he decided to donate his entire library to Congress so that they would have any information that was vital to the presidency. It's especially vital right now as we're looking to America 250. So it's America's 250th birthday. Not only because Washington is a founding father, we know that the founding fathers weren't perfect. And his land surveys were in native territory. And so they belong to the indigenous communities. And so these are white settlers going in. They're buying, quote unquote, the native territories and selling them off while these native peoples are still living there. The founding principles that we had of freedom, liberty, and equality that they were striving for, we're still striving for. For more information, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.